Hey guys, this is E with Scrap the King with me, and hopefully it's not too bright here today. It is, the sun is finally out and everything is sparkling and there's glare everywhere. So, okay, I had to go close the window. The sun is out and shining bright and everything's glaring in here this morning because, you know, I've got windows all the way around in the craft room. So, things kind of glare. Now, we're going to make some things today that have been made probably, well, I've made them last year, I made them this year already, and then I saw Rachel make some similar yesterday. Um, there's different people out there that makes these, but I have tons of scraps, and when I have a lot of scraps, I like to make these up to go with my journals, because I always include a little packet of stuff with my journals, so that's that's kind of what we're going to do today. But first, before I get into that, and if you didn't see my previous email, my granddaughter Bethany, we played with fingernails last night and laughed, and I needed the therapy. We had such a good time. She and I did, well, she did mine, and then she did hers. I didn't do hers, because I would have messed them up, but... um I don't know how long these will stay on. I may pop them off before the day's over. These are fake nails. Now, my nails are underneath, and they're, they're pretty long, but, you know, these are kind of fake. But we just, we had fun playing with them. We just laughed and cut up and just had a good time, and I needed the therapy. So, anyway, I wanted to get that out of the way because I knew somebody would ask because I never have nails. This is some things that a sweet friend of mine sent to me this week. This is 24 colors of wax thread. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about that because I, right now I just have like black and brown and white and red and orange and that's it. So I'm looking forward to using some of these other colors. So thank you so, so much. As a matter of fact, we're probably going to use some today. Oh, sorry about that glare right there. Now, this is a card that was sent to me by Diane, and she writes me a sweet, sweet note in here. She said she knows I like butterflies in the color blue, and I thought that, saw this, and I knew this was for you. I love butterflies, too, because when I lost my son, it was hard. The day I buried him, I saw this beautiful butterfly in my garden. I know you wear your husband's Let's see. I know you wear your husband's ring around your finger. I wanted to send this butterfly to let you know he is always flying in your heart. I keep butterflies all around me in my car and house. I also keep them flying because of my dad. He passed one year on the same day <clears throat> that my son. Oh my goodness, how horrible. I am so sorry. So, butterflies mean so much to me. Love, Diane. I just wanted to send you a happy Easter card. I wish you and the family a very blessed and safe holiday. This I actually got right before Easter, but I'm just now getting around to opening it up. Look at those little butterflies on there. They are so cute. Thank you so much. And I love that garden picture right there. So, this is what she sent. And it is a beautiful bracelet. It's got a butterfly on it. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Let's see if I can get it the right way. It's got a beautiful diamond looking butterfly and then a little pearl hanging down here and then lots of other little pearls on there. Isn't that pretty? Let's see if it'll fit my big wrist. Oh yes, it fits it perfectly. Thank you so much. I think I put it on backwards, but let's see. There we go. Thank you. I'm going to put it on my wrist. Okay, then this is this is happy birthday, and I'm not sure. It's not my birthday, and it says sincerely, Wendy. I don't know if this was meant for somebody else or one of my grandkids that might have already had a birthday. Well, none of my grandkids have had a birthday this year, but it says happy birthday. So it's not my birthday until October, but thank you so much. This is a beautiful card, Wendy. Thank you. Thank you. And then my sweet friend again sent me some things to craft with. Little packs of goodies. I love little packs of goodies, as you guys know. Some more of those flowers. Lots of things. And then some large flowers, because you know I'm always looking for large flowers. And then some ferns. 
some, I don't know what kind, but they're green, the pretty. <laughs> and then some of these that are pretty, be pretty for fall. And those are pretty. Fall again, those are pretty. I love all of them. And then look at that, the dried, they're dried flowers is what they are. It's so pretty. And then this is an entire pack. They're smaller, but look at this. It's got all of these in there. Isn't that wonderful? So thank you so, so much. I will definitely be playing around with those. Okay, then she also sent me a pack, big bag of just various buttons that she found at a thrift store. I'm going to dump them in here, so close your ears. Look at these. I mean, they're they're very old, vintage. You can tell. I'm gonna dump all of them out. I mean, some of these I have never seen before. That one is stuck, so we're gonna leave it. Um, some of them are still on the little card. I mean, there's just a ton. Look at that. That's actually a little needle. And the reason I'm showing you these, look at that, the little scissors. It's, we're going to be using some of these today in the little craft that we're going to do. I love these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at that little barrel. Oh my goodness. Very pretty. So thank you. I'm going to take all these off the cards because I love, I love everything being in one little pile. I'm not going to do it now though on the video, but just look at these. These are gorgeous. Look at those butterflies. Wow. Oh my goodness. I love them. Thank you so much. So now let's get around to let's get around to the craft that we're gonna do. I think she also sent me this. It's just like a little rent receipt thing. We're gonna use some of that too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bunch of just like this kind of thing. Whoops. Like this kind of thing. These scraps, these scraps, these scraps. And we're going to make some little booklets that will go along with my journals that I make. So, I got a little glare right there for some reason. I'm going to put something over it so you guys don't have to look. Well, that's not good, is it? There we go. So, I've got old book pages, I've got old map pages, I've got receipt books, and then this was an old notebook, it's got some very fragile paper in it. There is a, um, this is what they used to write music on, that kind of thing. So we're just going to start out with something, and I'm going to put part of this aside, so I'll have room to play. Uh, I'm going to start out with something that I want to use as a cover, maybe. Or maybe a little piece of a cover. Mm, that one's tore. I can't use it. Something smells like pickles. Dill pickles. I just ordered some dill pickles a little while ago, and I hope I didn't drop them and break them. That would be good. But I smell dill pickles. So maybe I, Maybe I got them on me. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so I just want to find a little piece. Oh, let's do a piece of this. This is was from a friend of mine too, sent me, and this is like a I think a wallpaper, maybe a wrapping paper. I think this is a wrapping paper. So we're going to use a piece of this to start off with. Let's see, I think I'm going to do it this way. And I'm just going to kind of tear it down the middle. So these booklets won't be very tall. And then this little piece is going to be what we start with. Right there. And then we'll start filling in some things. So let's get an old book page. And then maybe some, this is some straw paper. And it doesn't necessarily have to be squared up. You know me, sometimes I just do it and sometimes I don't. I'm just going to fold a bunch of them and then we'll put them together. Let's get a little piece of this. 
I don't want a whole big piece. Even though you could do a big piece if you wanted. All right, we'll grab a piece of this. A piece of this. Now, if you don't have all of this, I mean, I know everybody doesn't have access to all of this, like you sweet friends have sent to me. But if you don't, then just use like magazine pages and book pages and things like that and, and bring it together. You don't have to have all of this. Of course, a lot of people have better access to thrift stores than I do. Our thrift stores here are pitiful. They're not, they're not any good at all. Let's see. I want some, I want some of this ledger paper. This is from my sweet friend, Gloria. Every time I say her name, I want to sing that song. Gloria. Okay. And then you can always come back with pieces of, oh, this is just a piece of a digital beautiful piece of digital i don't even care that it's crooked that doesn't bother me i love this page but i am going to tear off just to kind of make it a little bit more square somebody's got some loud music going out there i don't know if you can hear it or not but, and this Oh, come from a sweet friend of mine she sent me a whole book of this um braille paper so we're definitely going to be using that in there. Um, and I'm just laying it all out here and I'll start putting it together in a minute. And when we start putting it together, we'll probably need to add some little pieces here and there. But I like to kind of get some pieces folded first. I think I made these, um, I don't know, maybe in January. Somewhere around in there. <clears throat> And it seemed like everybody really enjoyed them. And a lot of people have asked me, would I sell some of these? I would love to be able to. I just don't have the time to make them. If I had the time to make them, then more than yes, I would definitely. But I barely have time to make them and put them in journals. So I just don't have time. I'm sorry. I wish I did for you. I would make you some. And everybody here is so busy. The kids are busy working here. Or the girls are making digitals. And the guys are doing yards. And then um, they're on weekends. They're traveling all over. So, oh, Speaking of traveling all over. If you guys would... Y'all help me pray. Um, they are praying for something right now. They've got an op. You know, not too long ago, like last year, uh, you guys helped me pray. And a lot of people help donate, too. But um, you helped me pray for them to get a, um RV that they could travel in. Well, they have completely outgrown the RV. They just got a small one, and they completely have outgrown that. So they have found a larger one that they would love to have. But, you know, it's the money situation right now. And they're trying to raise money different ways and, you know, get, um, like get donations or maybe have a little fundraiser or do different things. But... The way they travel and the way that we all work, it's kind of hard to do that. But they're asking for everybody to help pray. So you guys help us pray. And and if you want to make a tax-deductible dedu donation, then I am sure they would appreciate it. I will put their link below. I'm not asking you to. I'm just saying if that's something that you would want to do. Some people like making tax deduction tax deductible donations i'll get that out in a minute and um uh, you know my kids would greatly appreciate it but the prayers is what they really really need at this point so 
just help them pray that God will make a way that they can get that so that they can all be comfortable in traveling. Right now they're having to kind of travel <clears throat> all bunched up and I can't even go with them because they don't have enough room for me. So if I go, I have to drive separately and I don't like to do that. I don't like to drive by myself or, you know, have to have one of them go with me or so we're trying to find a way that we can figure out how to get this RV because it would be very, very nice. It's large enough that I could go with them places and I wouldn't have to drive separately and I'd be able to travel with them a little bit more, which I would love and I would enjoy. Right now I have to stay home and, you know, I'd, I'd like to be able to go with them. I mean, my kiddos, after all. Okay, let's see. Now, this is... I want something a little darker behind this because that's too close to the same colors. So anyway, I will have their link below if you want to do anything or just send them a prayer. Just say, send them something and say, I'm praying for you to be able to, you know, get this. The guy that's got it is very, very nice. He is trying to hold it for him as long as he can. But, you know, he and his wife need to sell it too because they're trying to build them a house. So... It's just, and it's a little bit out of our price range just to kind of buy, so. <laughs> well, it's way out of our price range. But they definitely need it. They've got so much traveling coming up this summer in a lot of different areas of the United States. And it would just make it a lot more convenient. You know, Aaron is a big old boy now, so cramming him in the back seat of that little um, RV they've got is just... <laughs> That's almost more than they can do. He, uh, you know, he's like six foot three and big guy, so he, they can barely get him in and out if they have to put him in the back. And they usually just let him ride in the front with Brandon. But um, you know, sometimes Mel Melina has motion sickness like I do, and so sometimes she has to ride up there with Brandon herself. So anyway. Enough, enough been said on that. I don't want you to think I'm begging for money. I'm not. I just want you to pray for them. Because they're my kids. And if I can't ask you guys to pray for them, then who can I ask? Okay, this, that's going to be like the front. There's the first page. Second page. And that. And then that. That, that. I love that. I may have to trim that off a little bit. I don't know. And then that old vintage page, that one, that one, that one, that's upside down. Let's put it, let's put it right side up. That would probably help a little bit. Okay, and I'm, I'm just trying to alternate them. And then this would go down a little bit. And then this little piece... I don't think I'm going to let that be the center because it's so small. I'm going to put something else here. So let's see what we can put there. Let's just put one of these little Sudoku pages. I, think, I kind of like putting those in because they got the numbers on them. And you know, you guys know I love numbers. I'm a number girl from way back. Okay. Um, trying to decide if I want to cut that off or well, I think I might just tear it a little bit. I don't, you know what? No, I don't. I'm not going to tear it at all. I'm going to leave it as is and I am going to pull that down just a little bit because I want this to show these different colors here. This is going to be, that's going to be one that's ready to bind and I'll show you in a minute how we're going to bind it. Did I put this in there? I did not, did I? Oh, well, we'll put it in the next one. So grab a piece of paper that's something that you want to start the cover with. Doesn't matter what. Just something that you like. Something that will kind of stand out a little bit. Such a good way to use up your scraps. Ooh, I'm going to put some of that in this one. Let's see. 
Well, that would make my little bird sideways, and I don't want him flying sideways. He might run into something. I'm just pulling a lot of these out that I could use on the front. Okay, here we go. We're going to use this on the front this time, I think. Uh, let's see. And this is a digital, but I cannot remember who it's from. I think someone sent it. Whoops. Someone sent it to me last year. I need to get that out from under my... This tear tool works great as long as you don't have other pieces laying under it. I think I might tear the rest of that off at the top. There we go. All right, we're going to put that on the front. Ooh, that'll be pretty. Now, this is going to go in this one. <laughs> I'm going to put it in now, so don't forget. <clears throat> I think I'm going to put an Edith Holden page in. Let's see. Let's see which one we want to use. I think I want to use this one. Yeah. Yep. This one will be a little bit taller. But that'll be okay. And we're going to fold it not even. Oh, and I said I was going to use the Friday freebie. So let me grab that out here in just a minute. <clears throat> now, I don't want that quite that tall. So what I'm going to do at the bottom is I'm going to fold this up. And then fold it over. That way it's not quite it's too tall. Okay, let me grab the digital. Okay, here's the freebie that we put up yesterday. So let's tear off some of this. And I'm going to put this in sideways. You don't have to put it in the right way. It's just ephemera that they can use when they get their journal. It's basically what it is. Yeah, I don't mind that there. All right, let's do a book page. Let's see. Let's turn it this way. I'm going to fold them again because I don't do so good when I'm trying to fold and hold at the same time. Fold and hold. And this is a very old book page. The Catcher in the Rye. It was sent to me by someone, just pieces of it, so... Go ahead and put this in. Now, if you don't want the backs of these white, you can always cover them. I'm just going to leave that up to the person that gets it. If they want to cover it, they can. And if they don't, they don't have to. Let's go ahead and put a piece of this in there. And I'm going to put a piece of this. This is just some of that green paper. Well, it used to be green. It's not green anymore, is it? Not green anymore. I'm going to put a piece of this, and I may do that. That's pretty. Now, I don't take a ton of time on these because I don't think you have to because this is being sent to the person that gets the journal, and then they can take it apart and use it any way that they want. So it's not some, ooh. Well, they can cover the back of that, or I'll cover the back of it before I send it. But I just think that's pretty together. Um, it's not something that you're, you know, you're not making something up right then to use. It's something that you're sending for them to take apart and use. Let's see, I need one more color, different color of book page. Oh, or Life in Kentucky. Hmm. That's an old one. I can smell it. Not stinky, it just, you can smell the oldness of it. So, let's see. Do we have anything else we want to include in here? And I try to put a little bit of different different things in each one. Just so the person will have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay, I've got some music page here. I'm going to include some of that. Sorry, I'll be right. I'm tearing it off screen, so I'll be right there. There we go. Okay, let's start putting this little thing together here. 
I think I want that first, and then I'm going to bring in this Edith Holden page, maybe. Nope, too much, too close to the same colors. I said I wasn't going to fuss, didn't I? Oh, I like that. Okay, let's do that. Then we're going to do maybe that. Okay, let's put kind of a solid in there. I'm going to bring it down to the bottom and I'm going to let it hang out a little bit because it's got that little rippled edge where I tore it with my other scissors or my other uh, tear tool. And then we'll put this one up at the top. Okay. Let's put the, nope, not braille yet. Let's put this in there and then we might. Let's see, I'm going to fold this the other way. No, I'm not. Leave it folded that way. Um, need some color to go in here before I put the braille paper. The braille paper is so white. You don't want white on white. Okay. And then some book page up there. And then this little piece down here. Um that one up there and oh let's put this one down here okay oh that's getting kind of thick do I want to add these I might add that somewhere else not in the center I'm gonna let this be my center I think all right let's look at this I think I want this in here right pull that up put that there and then i'm gonna put that there oh yeah i like that i don't mind that hanging out there that's fine so let's see if we got that's okay that's okay that'll work that'll work that'll work um i think i'm gonna put this in here it's just going to help that braille paper stand out a little bit more. And then, okay, that's good. We'll clip it. See how we're using up scraps? Yeah. Alright, this one, I think I'm going to let this be the front cover. You could also use an Edith Holden page for a front cover too. That'd be pretty. Anything that, that has just a little bit of color with it. And I think I might make this one this way. A tall one. And it doesn't have to be slender. This can just be slender. Alright, let's use a piece of this. I'm just going to tear some pieces to get them ready, and then we'll start putting things together. Ooh, look at that sweet paper. We can definitely use that. And this is just some paper that I, I think it's some of that white paper, and I just used some of my stencils on it just to play around. We'll include that in there. That's that. There's some of my stamped paper, tissue paper. And let's go ahead and grab another one of these. And then some book pages, different colors. Okay, now we can start folding now. These, I think I'm going to fold this way. Oh, 128. Eight's my number. 
Let's see. I may fold some of them this way. Some of these page or book pages are going to be a little bit easier to catch if they're folded the other direction. Some of them are a little bit thinner. And then that one I think I'm going to leave as is. That one I'll leave as is. This one we'll just fold it up. This used to be, let's see, what was this? This was uh, a piece of packing paper, I think, from somewhere. I don't know, Amazon or wherever. Look at all these goodies that some person will get with their journal, be able to play with. Okay, we need to straighten that one up a little bit and tear off the edges. Oh, I know. I should take that out from under, but I don't want to. If I hold it down strong enough, it'll be all right. And that piece. That piece. And let's see. I'm just going to leave that crooked, torn off like that. Doesn't matter. This I'm going to tear in half. I thought I already had one torn, but I don't. I think I already used it. Already. Already. That's my word. Already used it. Already used it. Let's see. We'll fold this one this way, and I'm going to leave it where those holes will show. And same on this. There's, there's the numbers. Need to do a little bit better job of folding it straight. And let's see, we'll do this one this way too. Okay, now we can get started. So let's put I think I want to go with the Edith Holden page next. Give it a little bit of width. Oh, those are the same. I'm going to have to put something between that. Um, um, um. Let's do this. There we go. There we go. Okay. Then we shall bring in this vintage book page. Maybe that. Not that one. That's the same thing, basically. That one. So you can look for these if you've ordered a journal from me because they'll be in there. Uh-oh, we got too much white going on there. There we go. Then we can go with a little white piece. Then let's do something else at the top. Do that little piece at the top. And come in with some green. Back in with some book page. That. Bring some color back in. Put this down here. Bring that up a little bit more. And this piece to kind of hold it together. This stamped piece, which I'll end up folding those up a little bit, I think. They're a little bit wide. And then maybe this, that, that, and that. <laughs> oh, I don't mind that at all. I am going to tear that little tiny point there off, but other than that, I don't mind it. Just gives the person a little bit more to play with. Oh, I like that. I like the feel of it, too. So, I think... I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. Alright. You know, we could put a little small something right there. Let's see if I've got a little small something. Just to kind of, because that's solid, just to kind of break it up a little bit. Not a biggie, but we could do it. 
What about... Okay, I think we'll do that. I wanted something kind of pinky because of this pink sticking out. And then just to break this up just a little bit. Give it a little bit more of a focal point on the front. Yeah. I think that'll work. So then, and I'm not going to put it in the center. I'm going to put it more down that way. And try to get it even. Yep, that work. Okay, we're still doing good on time, so let's do a few more. Now, I thought we might use this on the front of one. That's beautiful, isn't it? Another fantastic digital from one of you, I'm sure. No, maybe I made that. Who knows? You know me? I can't remember if I make it or not. A beautiful digital from me. No, I don't know. Either me or Melina, probably. I don't know. All right. These I'm going to fold sideways. We're going to make another one that's not quite so tall. Um, let's do the Edith Holden this way. And then one more color, maybe. Maybe another catcher in the rye. No, this is Old Life in Kentucky. This is a very old book. Wow, yeah. It smells like an old, old library. We're going to put this little piece in there. That's cute. And that. Got to have ledger paper in everything. That's my weakness. Ledger paper and... Oh, paper in general is my weakness. Who am I kidding? Let's see. This one, I think, to keep it from being so wide, I'm going to fold it like that. And then fold it up. And I'm going to link... Um, I am. I'm going to link, <laughs> link oh my, my, uh, I am going to link Rachel's channel below. You guys can go over and check her channel out. She does beautifully with these. And she has lots and lots of vintage letters and things that she puts in hers, so they're absolutely fantastic. I have some vintage letters, but mine are over there being photocopied so that we can use them to put in digitals so that's why I don't have very very many in here okay I love using up my scraps yes 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 oh we haven't even dug into this pile what is this? Oh, there's an old piece of brown paper. Some dot grid paper. Uh, oh, look. We got some lined, purple lined paper. Let's put a piece of this in there. This is some of that. This is the green paper that actually has not been faded out yet. <laughs> the other that I had has been faded out. So I found if you leave this green paper where the sun can hit it, it fades out and it changes colors. Okay, we'll do that. We'll put this letter in there. Somewhere. I've got some little pieces of coffee dyed paper that have been in my stash for a little while and we'll just add those in and the person can use those to you know make little tags with or whatever it's just something fun to use there's a cute piece and I can't, can't leave out this straw paper and this, this is gorgeous. Can't remember who I got that from. That may be Rachel Bella. 
not sure oh let's put a piece of this in there this is our i've already got folded this is some um, like uh, napkin i mean paper doilies that i got from one of you guys and i've already folded it so i think that's going to be enough for this one whoops this one's probably going to blow up okay let's start out with some color there then we'll put some writing paper in not writing paper but you know what i mean a letter page um i need i need words next there we go nope edith holden and then we'll put that in there then let's bring this little book page in here oops try to put things right side up but it you know it doesn't matter because when you get it you can tear it all apart anyway and use it like you want it's just useful scraps i'm going to put three little stacks there then i'm going to have to have something that holds them all together there we go and then we need color this is like a double layer of that so that'll be that'll be good more color and then music page ledger book oh let's put that purple in there more book and then we're going to put this little guy in there and then this one and then i need some little something right here on the front let's do this there we go Oh, that's a thick one. Okay, but I like that. I would like to have some words right here. So let's see. I don't know. Puzzle. Sudoku puzzle. I don't know what this is. Numbers. And I may have to tear it off or fold it up. I don't know. That'll probably be all right. It's not exactly the right, I mean, the uh, same height as the other, so it's good. We'll leave that. Okay, we're going to bind some of these. And the way I'm going to bind them is, I told you that I was going to use those buttons. We're going to use the buttons. And we're going to use some of this thread. So excuse the crinkling while I open it. So I'm thinking that one will be a good one to use right there. Now I'm going to use my journal tool. Yes, you can use your journal tool for things like this. Boy, that one is thin. I think I need to add more to this one. This one's very thin compared to the ones, the other ones that I did. I don't want to cheat anybody. Let's see. Let's add some more to this. want to fill them up because I've got plenty of scraps okay yeah that feels better so I'm going to clip it this way and then I'm also going to clip it over here I just don't want the pages to slide where I don't catch something now for my journal tool I'm only going to poke two holes in this just two holes uh, well, I may not poke any if I can't find my poker. There it is, right in front of my face. And I want to put one, and I'm not even, I'm not going to measure, but I'm going to put one right there. Oops. And then I'm just going to slide it down about, let's see, about an inch and a half. And I'm going to put another one right there. Okay. So I've got one right here and one right here. That caught everything. Lay that aside. We're going to get some. Some of this pretty pink, I think. Uh, 
Wow, that's gorgeous. Now I've got my needle right here. All right, what I'm going to do is I am going to go through from the outside, come into the inside, and then I'm going to go back through to the outside. And then I'm just going to leave enough string to tie it and then add something to. Yes, we're going to add something to it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull our button bag back in here. And I'm going to grab some buttons that I want to add on here. And we're just going to add a few little buttons. Where's those scissors? That's what I was looking for. Oh, there's a lighthouse. Oh, I'm looking for the scissors. Do you guys see them? I don't see them. There's a whale. There they are. Scissors. Okay. That's four. We need one more. Let's just do that old button. So this is what we're going to do. I don't know if this is going to work. Hopefully it will. Uh, without me putting anything else on here. Because I've not done it before. Then they can use these little charms when they get their packet or these little buttons I should say buttons charms whatever they are if I can get this through and yes I could thread a needle and do it but I don't want to and I do have a needle threader I could use that too okay Let me see how this is going to work. Let's see if I tie it. I'm going to tie it and see what it looks like. If it doesn't look good, we'll just take it out. I mean, like I said, they're, they can just use these when they get their little packet. You take these off and see what it feels like. It may not be strong enough. Is that, oh, yeah, I kind of like that. It's strong enough. Oh, now I'm going to tie a bow. I think on the next one, though, I'll put some buttons on both strings. Is that what you guys would suggest? I'm sure you're saying that. So there is some little charms or buttons, and then a whole pack of goodies. And that's how the inside looks. with binding. So there's one. Let's go ahead and do some more. I like these. I may have to keep one for myself. And you know, you if you didn't want to take these apart and use the pieces, you could just use this full piece in a journal and just tuck it in a pocket. That'd be cute too. Okay, make sure we caught that. Where's my journal tool? There it is. All right, we are going to slide it down this way. And I can see my center hole right there, if you can see it. So I'm going to punch a hole right there. Okay, and then I'm going to slide it down about an inch and a half, two inches. Doesn't have to be precise. Okay. And you're saying, well, you're poking holes in the pieces that they're going to be using. It's just a tiny hole. They can still use it. Now, I think I'll use this yellow on this. Well, me, I don't know how long I've been going, but, you know, I get started on something like this, and I don't know when to quit. And I feel so much better today since my granddaughter and I had a little therapy session last night, so. Uh-oh. Some of this, like this paper right here, is so fragile, it tore just a little bit, but you can still use it. Just put a piece of washi tape on it. There's still ways to use it. Okay, now on this one, I am going to use, I mean, I'm going to put buttons on both sides. Oh, I got to put this little chickadee on there, on one. A little yellow chicken. And I don't know what that is, but we'll put that there.
Let's see. Oh, there's a Joe Boxer button. That's an oldie. Let's see if I can get the thread out of it. Yep. Um, what else? Oh, let's put that little thing there on there. And that. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So we'll start out, I'm going to start out with a big one. And we're just going to put it, put one there. And then I'm going to put a different one. Let's put this Joe Boxer on here. And put our little drum there. And then on this side, we'll put that one. Oops. Come through. And then our little chicken. There we go. And now let's see if these tie. Oh, I can already feel it. That's going to tie much better. I should have put them on opposite sides before, but that's okay. And then we're gonna tie a little bow, a little bow. There we go. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> I love that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like it and I like the feel of it. So let's lay that one over there. You guys, I'm just gonna be going to town on these. We're gonna use green on this one. I, now that I've got all these colors, I can use a different color on every one. So let's find the middle and see if we can clip this. Ooh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to have to manage to clip that one somehow. Okay, I think I caught it that time. I'm going to go ahead and put another one on here just in case. There we go. Okay, I think everything is caught. Let's go ahead and put it in our journal tool. And this one's actually long enough we could do it three holes, but I'm not. I'm still going to do the two because I want to tie it. Two. I don't know why I said two. we go hey I'm telling you I don't know what I do without my journal tool if you hear something that's my arm I'm not it's not ugly stuff that's my arm <laughs> I know I kept listening and it was sliding across and it, I've got lotion on it so it was squeaking on my desk and I thought oh I better explain what that is somebody might think it's something else going on here okay there we go I don't need quite that much gotta save my thread okay we'll cut that off right there and then let's find some vintage buttons let's see well, we know we don't want to do Santa Claus um oh there's a green heart Let's do that and wow there's a very old button that's cute there's a little teapot oh and there's a lighthouse I'll give you one of the lighthouses one two three four five okay That's cute. That little hot. Yes, you can use a needle threader if you want to do this a lot quicker. I just don't want to get up and go get my needle threader right now. If that makes any sense to anybody. Well, I put both of the little tall ones on one side, but that's okay. I love this little lighthouse, so whoever gets this, I love it. And it's kind of a teal color too so okay now let's tie this up come on tie nice and tight there we go now let's see if we can there cute <laughs> those are cute 
All right, we've got one more, and then we'll be finished. I know you guys are like, okay, enough is enough, Edith. And I also wanted to let you know, I'll have the link below to my new Facebook page because Facebook is pathetic, and they never did. As a matter of fact, they just took down my other page. They just took it down. They wouldn't give it back to me. They just took it down. So I had to start all over. So I've got another one. And I'm not going to send out friend request, But I will, you know, friend you if you send me a request. I just don't want to send out friend requests and then pe have people thinking, well, is that really her or is that somebody else, you know? So that's why I decided not, not to do that. Okay, I think we'll... Well, that one didn't exactly go. Let's just use this one. So you can click on that link that I'll have below and you can go over and send me a friend request if you want to be my friend. And if you don't, that's okay too. And uh, I will get to them just as fast as I can. Right now I've got quite a few that are waiting. So, And I, I'm looking everybody up that has sent me a request. So <laughs> hopefully I won't uh, mess up and get anybody that I don't really want, you know. Let's see. Let's see if I can get that wire off. See what I'm talking about? I work with my hands so much, these things will pop off probably in no time. Oh, there's another little teapot. Look at that. Oh, look at that little apple. Goodness, these are cute. And there's a little tree. Let's see what else we've got down here. Oh my goodness, this is an old button. Look at that one. That's a wood button. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's put a biggie on here. And then this one. And I'm going to go ahead and put the little apple on, too. And I just thought about this this morning. I don't know if anybody else has done these like this or not. I know, like I said, Rachel did some little booklets like this yesterday. And that's kind of where I got the idea. So I want you guys to go over and watch Rachel. She does a fantastic job on all this. I think I'm going to hang that one from the little thing there. So I, I got the idea, and then when I saw these buttons, I was like, okay, I know exactly what I'm going to do. And I like to send things like this out with my uh, journals anyway, so this is just a good way to do it and share with you guys. So. All right, there is that one. So let me pull all of them back over here, and I'll show you every one of them. So I put some things out of the way. Put my needle up before I lose it. I thought we made more than four. I guess not. Oh well, these are some cute ones anyway. So that is our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll give these a try with those all those scraps that I know you have because I have tons of them. I've still got enough over here to make probably, I don't know, 20 more of these. <laughs> But if you buy a journal from me, or if you've already bought a journal from me and are waiting in line, remember, one of these will come with your journal. All right, guys, we will talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified when we put up new videos. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.